What's going on guys? For Complex News, I'm Speedy Mormon. Since all of these platforms started unveiling their live features, a lot of people have been publicly outing themselves by revealing things that shouldn't be on camera. This time around, a dinner party went really, really wrong after a man was shot and killed. According to Cleveland.com, a bunch of friends went over to Stephen Linnaeus' crib this past Thursday night. Some of the friends were playing with a gun on Facebook Live when Linnaeus took the bullets and the clip out of it. Take a look. I'm gonna walk up to him and be like, listen, give me my fucking money. <laughs> Pull it to the side of the Don't, that's loaded. Don't put your finger on that. Oh, okay, don't point it at me. Wait, I was showing the audience look, what not to do. The clip is in here, guys. I have the clip, okay? Magazine, it's right here. Okay. Yeah, but you don't know about yeah. the secret clip, do you? That would have that made a bloody mess. Look at that. You see that, that hollow point right there? That would have made a that bloody mess. One of the guys then takes the gun, puts it in his mouth, and threatens suicide. Especially with this one. <laughs> I swear to God. Maybe. Okay, honey. You know people can freeze frame that shit. As you'd expect, liquor and guns are a bad combo. Leonis' friend, Anthony Stanford, appears later in the video here. What'd you say? Show. Yeah. 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 Per the Cleveland.com post, later on that night, Leonis lowered the piece to his side and pulled the trigger, not knowing that a bullet was in the chamber. Stanford was hit in the abdomen and was pronounced dead. According to court reports, Leonis was drunk at the time of the shooting. Now he's charged with third degree felony involuntary manslaughter. Stanford was a father to a five-year-old girl. For Complex News, I'm Speedy Mormon, and as always, be sure to subscribe to Complex on YouTube to stay updated on this and the rest of today's stories.